everybody, my name is Skybound. Starbox. And today we're watching last week's episode of My Little Pony, actually, because for um, reasons... You were in Norway, weren't you? Not Norway, no. I was in the Netherlands. Um, okay, it's close. Well, not close, but... Yeah. In... I, I was elsewhere in the... Elsewhere in in the in the world, so I couldn't actually watch the episode. Um, but I'm back, and we're going to be watching this episode, and then and later then. on we're going to be bringing out the new episode. So when it eventually comes out, then. yeah, I out for that. And then we're probably going to be watching anime later. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, and this one is called. Uh, hold on, you uh, fake it to make it. Mm. I don't really have any ideas what this might be, so I guess really the only way we can kick things off is just by starting the episode and seeing what happens. Mm. Okay, well, starting it in three, three two, two, one, go. go. Mm. Oh, so it's probably going to be a Fluttershy episode then. Mm. <laughs> Angel, stop being abusive. Angel! <sighs> There's nothing so peaceful as a cuddly friend's picnic. That is until Rarity comes oh, along. Goodness, Mary. What's mm. the matter? Oh, the better question would be what isn't the matter? Oh dear. Do you want to have some lettuce and talk about it? Uh, oh, I would love to, darling, but I just don't have the time. The Canterlot Royal Fashion Show is practically upon us, and the cornerstone piece of my collection just isn't working. That sounds serious. So fashion oh, horse is fashioning. Yeah. The entire collection is designed and around it. Her entire world is burning to the ground, as Instead usual. The yeah. It's an elephant. It's a mistake of nature. It's an abomination of nature and it needs to be killed. I think it's already dead. All three? Does that mean we have to close Rarity for you? That's just it, darling. This is Manhattan's busiest... Wait, Rarity for you? Is that like Toys R Us? I don't know. Or maybe phones for you. Phones? For you? I don't know if anyone in else has been here. I'm surprised you picked me. I may have asked a few others. Sorry, but we've got a Wonderbolt show coming up. Of course. Sorry, but it's high season and the pie are piling up. Sorry, I've got a curriculum to make up. Oh, so somebody's actually working. Oh. My calendar's packed, but I hear Fluttershy's free, and you haven't asked Boulder. Uh, uh. <laughs> Doesn't matter who else I asked, because I couldn't be happier that you agreed to help. So she's basically helping him with what? Beam. <laughs> Finally. Finally. We of course get to see. Finally. How many? I mean, I still can't believe it took them this long. Now all they have left to do is like change the, the uh, actual music. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, it's actually nice to see that they actually changed it because I was so I know I overreact when I first saw it, but it's only because it hasn't changed for so long. Like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so fashion horse is fashion horsing. Mhm. Mm Oh, this is in main hat. The store is divided mm. into sections. Chic, classic, modern, sophisticated, avant-garde, traditional, and obtuse. What's the difference? And of course, each section person. is divided by season, color, and price. It's a classic SCP system. Then it's just a little raining ponies up. A little flutter down. She's experiencing retail. Oh, oh god. Welcome to Rarity for you. Oh god. Aye, something classic but modern, something with drama but also understated. 
What? They're both opposites. How can you... Oh, God, I wouldn't have understood that question. Like, how can I... I'm sorry. Are you asking me how to do your job? No, but I just, um... If I may, I'm thinking noir-esque minimalist, but with a twist. Perhaps a tapered hem. It's like you read my mind. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> Yeah. The inseam say yes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Seriously. Wow, you make it look so easy. Oh, darling, come now. You've conquered your shyness a thousand times over. You can't let a few fashion ponies undo all that progress. I guess not. You simply must access your inner strength and allow it to shine through. Mm -hmm. Oh, power posing works wonders whenever I feel intimidated. Oh, God. Power pose. Oh, God. oh, God, not this again. Seriously. I am making me. I do actually know that this is something that people have done to make themselves. Yeah. Yeah, it is actually something that people do, this sort of thing. Power poses. It's. One of these. You're not gonna be here. I'm lacking the eye patch to be proper. <laughs> yeah. Power poses. You can't. The fashion show is in Cantalot tomorrow, and I'll be up all night, even with the help of all of my assistants. <laughs> well, not all my assistants. Smokey, soft fan, Smokey Junior. <laughs> Ever since you convinced me to let them live in the shop, these beastly sweeties have been nothing but helpful. And I'm sure they'll help me let my inner strength shine through. Oh, God. oh I wish I could stay and offer more help. <gasps> Why not try a new outfit? Is that just a recommendation for everything? The new the outfit. Room. Yeah, but that's the thing. Shut if you, if all you've got is a hammer, every problem you've got is a nail. Um, so basically, she knows fashion, so she uses fashion to solve the problem. So yeah. See, gonna this is not going to go wrong at all. She's going to be completely out of her depth. Completely and Ooh, utterly. Here goes nothing. This is going to be. This is going to go. Welcome to Rarity for You. What can I help you with? What's the thread count of this shirt? I can't be seen in anything less than a thousand. Wait, what? Um, thread count? Um, <sighs> well, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, excuse me for just one second. <laughs> no. How the hell are you supposed to know that sort of animation? What's the thread count of this processor? <laughs> okay, to be fair, I'm a programmer, but I don't know the thread count of my own PC at the moment. It's not something that we need to know every day unless you're going to, to, to the lowest levels of it. Computer programming. English. Severe, but not unapproachable. Acceptable business attire. Hey, do say! <laughs> shop only to you? Yes, just sound British. That's the way to sound like a shop pony. So sorry for the wait. The shop has some staffing issues today. Yes, well, I still haven't had an answer on this thread count. Here at Rarity for you, our merchandise defies typical attempts to quantify its quality, but rest assured it will make you the envy of all who see it. Oh, in that case, I'll take three. Oh my <laughs> god, these people are gullible! She nailed it. Oh my god, fashion is just about bullshitting. Right, yes, I've got it. Just like modern art. Yeah, it is. It's, <laughs> it's just like bullshitting. It is, like, you just have to make it up all the time. That's what it is. It is with art. Oh, you can say anything with. I suppose clothes really do make the pony after all. Oh yes. my god, really? Now I'm going to go make some tea and oh crop it. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, that's a better British accent than bloody um, Pip. Yeah. And if even one sharp pony isn't up to my standards, well, I shall make mine as pleasure as I play. Oh! 
you are wicked. <laughs> oh. There's no fashion show or no. I simply can't leave Fluttershy to fend for herself with these made husbands. Some people are just bullies, aren't they? Fashion is all about making people feel like they've got something that's worthwhile. It's just coming up with. Oh, thanks, everyone. I feel like I should push the snootiness further. Oh, no. Oh, no. How much more snooty can you do? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Tea, of course. Oh, God. Accessories bold and shiny, and I'm just not seeing anything nearly bold and shiny enough. I'm afraid bold and shiny won't work with your whole model. Perhaps pointy. Pointy? Yes. <laughs> I must have pointy. This is <laughs> not every pony can pull off a found object, but you nearly get there. <laughs> wow, okay. Like a red carpet glitz and glamour gown that's also casual, right. but like uh, still artsy and a total. Oh my top. god. Yes, casual chic. Seriously? It's very blanche this season. Uh, like, I don't understand any of that, so, like, I don't care about it. <laughs> um, one moment, please. <laughs> Oh, I need a new character. Oh, no. Okay, I've got like this high key savage look for you. High key savage look, my god. Wait, high key savage? Who the frick? <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> no, just gen general, just sort of that kind of dab on the haters. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the Dark Flame Master himself! Oh god, no, please! Can you, like, chill for one sec? Yabby. She's just coming up with a difficult. The futility of shopping can be made better with black leather and metal studs, but they help. Uh, that jacket completes me. <laughs> Jesus, no. Oh, God, she's getting it. Yeah. This hemline is nothing short of an inspiration of crass ponyship. Are you sure you deserve it? She's going too far with it. Basically, she's trying to be so, too many things at once. We're busy at an important fashion show, and Fluttershy is running her shop in Manhattan. But to do it, she's playing different shop pony characters that are all mean. How in the world did you figure that out, Spike? Uh, 
I'm not Dragon Charade's champion for nothing. I can't imagine Fluttershy would ever be mean to her animal friends. This sounds serious. Spike, tell everyone it's time to head back to Saddle Row. It's... We have a friendship emergency. I think it was possible to make something so down, even more matronly, but here you are. It's like a scream in the void, empty and ultimately meaningless. I would seriously help you right now, but like, I don't wanna, you know? Oh my god, Mileo's in a nutshell! <laughs> you were kidding. This is worse than we thought. She's being horrible to every pony. Uh, are you sure that's even Fluttershy? Maybe it's just three really, really fast ponies that really, really look like her. Well, let's find out. Hey, Fluttershy, are you running the shop or performing in a one-pony show? If you don't mind, I can only improve the taste of one customer at a time. You have to wait your turn. Oh, honestly, these small-town ponies come to the Oh, my God. <laughs> the red <rip> triggered. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I owe every pony an apology. Speak. Wait. You got so caught up trying to please all of your customers that... What customers? You might have taken my sales point characters a little too far. <laughs> Sorry if I hurt your feelings. You know I was only pretending, right? Why did you think you needed to be some pony else to run the shop? I guess acting like the ponies of Saddle Row gave me the confidence to interact with them. Darling, I never trust some horrible Saddle Row pony to run my shop. That's why I wanted a friend to do it. Well, I'd definitely rather be myself anyway, even if I don't exactly have what it takes to be a shop pony. I wouldn't sell yourself short. Those sales pony characters all came from you. Yeah! I think you totally have what it takes. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> you have all the inner strength you need, but I think we prefer it coming from our sweet, regular Fluttershy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I quite like gothic Fluttershy. Yeah. yeah. But for, I will say this now, it was a very well written episode. I have heard the term fake it until you make it before. I haven't entirely agreed with it, but I can sort of see what they're getting at with that sort of phrase. Yeah. However, I can't help but think this is sort of still the same sort of, almost the same sort of lesson. And this is the problem I always have with Fluttershy um, sort of episodes. They kind of have to be around the same sort of theme. It's It doesn't feel like the... This is the problem when you have a character that's based on a simple concept like Shy. You know, a, a, a literal name Shy. I mean, outside of Mr. Ben books and things like that, one-off characters, mm. having a basic concept like that doesn't really work for a character that lasts throughout. This is why Fluttershy isn't really one of my favourite characters because she just always seems to be learning some regurgitation of the same sort of lesson, although in different contexts. So while it is different, it is still one of those things that I still can't help but notice. So yeah, yeah it's... I mean, don't get me wrong, the episode was good and all, but it's it's always the same sort of thing when you have the, that sort of thing, so... it's Anyway, that's just my viewpoint on it. It was still a decent episode, I mean, it's interesting, well, it's... I mean, it's a nice filler episode, you know, I mean, but... Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so, like, oh my god, that episode was totally lit. Um, no. No. no, no, we're not. We're not doing that. It's not. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was not woke, if that's what you mean. 
Yeah, Fluttershy got woke AF at that point. No, we're not, we're not going there. Let's uh, stay away from the malaria or uh, normie trash, let's, shall we? Let's, 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 st let's stop that now. Okay, so that episode was... Yeah, it was a Fluttershy episode, which means it was it, pretty much... The same. Overcome it? shyness. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Obtain victory. <laughs> Again. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I kind of do agree that... I mean, don't um, get me wrong, I, I know what the point it is. My turn. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, Fluttershy episode. Overcoming shyness. Again. Yet again. And, yeah, we see that a lot, but really, what more can you do with a character whose entire sort of thing... Well, actually, I suppose there's a lot you could do with her, because she's got a lot of different yeah. things, you know, with her animals and all that sort of thing going on. But... Most of her episodes do seem to focus on her being shy in some area and she's then doing something to overcome her shyness. She in that has area. got better over it, but and I get what the writers are saying about oh, if you're a normal person in real life, you'll be like that. You know, you'll learn the same lesson over and over again in different contexts. Yes, that's fine for a person. But when you're talking about how a character in a show, it doesn't really... That's not really the right way of going about it. it do, you have to have the progress of the character throughout a show. Otherwise, it seems like they're just learning the same thing over and again. You don't show the same thing over and over again. You'll show over, over key points that, like the key, that would make them significantly change. But Fluttershy doesn't really seem to be able to be changed. And it's a fault of having a character that is based around one concept. This is why I like the comics more. Because in the comics, she's got another hobby. And that, I mean, I suppose the hobby side of things is fair enough, but it's like, it's more like with Twilight, where she had different problems to overcome. There weren't this a regurgitation of the old, old problem. You know, and with Rainbow Dust, God knows how many different problems she had to overcome. She had to overcome the fact that she can be a bit big headed, the fact that she, you know, getting over the, you know, the sort of, I forget what it called in um, Yeah, anyway, in, anyway. Yeah, the, 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 the point I'm making is that, yeah, it's, I think it's a flaw with the actual design of the character itself, you know. Yeah, maybe, but... Um, anyway, we've gone on as long as it is anyway, so... But it was still a good episode. It was I would a good like episode. To, I would have to say it's a good episode. It wasn't a bad episode. It's just... I already know that I won't be the only person here who thinks that damn thing is about this. You know, it keeps on coming up, and the reason why it keeps on coming up is, well, anyway. Yeah. So, like... Uh, I like send it it's with, it's with, like, the, the, the darkness inside my soul <laughs> that I say that it's time to end now. Yeah. So, I guess... I'm Starlight Flax. I'm Skybound. And we'll see you next time. Bye.